and I thought of some memories from my own childhood. <clears throat> Often when we got home from school, mom would say, bake cookies. This was the bowl, and many of the recipes came out of the Mennonite Community Cookbook, which is a 1950 um, that was first printed and it came out, and I would have been 10 at that point. So I made lots of cookies by that age. I have four recipes that I've picked out, but then there are the measuring spoons and the pot holder and those things that come. And the kitchen table, because the kitchen had some counters, but we worked on the kitchen table. Oil cloth was the tablecloth. This is, oil cloth is hard to find these days. You've got to search some stores, and I didn't search long, but I did find something that would be a bit reminiscent of the oil cloth on the table that we had in the kitchen. I learned a long time, I probably was in my teens, when I realized this kitchen table my dad had made. And it had two drop leaves on it. It was about this wide and leaves about that long as well. And I don't know, the legs seemed to have come from somewhere. They were turned a bit. He was not. He was a woodworker in the sawmill. He was not a fine woodworker. So that was the kitchen table that we did a lot of cookies on. Of course, I did the checking with my sisters and things that they remembered. For me, I remembered the oatmeal cookie recipe because you made that when you had the, sour, the cream that went sour. And so that used up sour cream, and we did that often. Um, my sister Shirley remembers crisscrossing the peanut butters. Whole house cookies didn't happen often because you needed to buy the chocolate chips and they were not always there. So that's what the memories are that we have um, out of our growing up.